the patients are at the center of everything we do, whether it is research, whether it is teaching, whether it is training, et cetera. So that the patient encounter is the most important thing in building your reputation and your leadership. And when you see the patient, that patient must have your undivided attention and respect. You must be empathetic and non-judgmental. And then what I have seen now is Atlanta has increasingly become an international city. You have to develop cultural competence. Then there are, I'll give you a list of other things. You have to build relationships and collaborate. Medicine is a team sport. But within that, you have to have self-awareness, realizing that all of us have some unconscious bias. You have to establish trust, and that takes perseverance. And the important thing is honesty and integrity. We have over the years tried to build diversity and inclusiveness. We have to be a good speaker and a communicator. This is the way you inspire people to follow what you think is important. Don't just present problems, but solve them. And are, in solving them, you articulate your values. Be a good competitor, but fight fair and maintain your dignity within this. And then encourage and empower others. This is what we do as mentors and sponsors. Importantly, show appreciation because everyone around you is trying as well. Establish excellence, and this is the high standard. And then relative to some of what we're talking about this morning, participate in professional societies. This is the way you give back to your professional community. You have to be a visionary. You have to inspire vision in others, and you have to, within these professional societies, articulate your aspirations. And finally, develop a work-life synergy. Uh, value your family, value your community, enjoy the people around you, but most important, value yourself. And I think this is the advice that I would give to my juniors, to my colleagues, and that I continue to give to myself.